Welcome back to a 72 meter high telecommunication tower creation. This is a course that will take us some bit of time and because we want to go on step by step. And number one uh, topic we, we, we are going to begin with is a telecom telecommunication tower grid line set out. Uh, as in the case when, when you go to site, you have to first, first of all define the, the, the absolute size uh, of of any structure like in this case you want to define the the length width and the utmost height of our tower and if you take a look on the screen here you can see i've done that already and i think as uh, as you as you move on to this uh, project-based uh telecommunication tower uh, training i think this is a very simple thing to do and uh if you're new to this and if we if this is the first time with take structure I'm going to double click on the grid line you see on the screen here and this will display the measurements that has been used and I'll also show you how we can create these measurements and how we can key in the measurements as uh, as uh, as shown as will be shown now if I double click on the grid you see here if the moment you click on the grid line here you can be able to see we have the coordinate system here we have the coordinates in place XYZ plane on the coordinate system we have the labels that the labels one two three you can see that one two three on the other side and on the x side you can see all, all, all those displayed the extensions you can see the extensions from from this end from this intersection point to that end that is two meters you can see all that so let me just click on it once again to display all those things now if i uh, scroll down is the origin of the xyz coordinate is zero zero absolute zero the colors is the color the color code is black if you can always change that color code to your choice and also the font size that the, the color uh the font color is zero 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 space zero zero space zero you can always key in your preferred color code right right there so the most the key the most important thing on this section is always the coordinate system the labels and the, probably the extensions up to this side we have left left below and left above uh, and right above now uh, first thing here is uh, the length the dimensions so you can see i've prefixed this dimension with the four with negative sign and you can always do this uh, do this if i come to my dimension if i want to take actual measurements here if i snap on that spot and go snap on the other side you can see this is 8.6 meters or 8600 millimeters so the reason why uh, I have this in, in the middle is because I want to have this center so when there are some commands that will require us to snap at the middle and uh, do some rotation uh, run some rotation command so I'll be using that middle point that's why I created the, that middle point line so uh, to create that I divided that I divided this 86,000 millimeter it's 86,000 um, uh, 6, millimeter into two so that I have 43 for the thing that aside so let me just click on it once again and you can see we have this in place so don't worry about this this 43 negative you can always get rid of that by just keying zero there and if you come here let this you do the same thing here just do the same thing here and uh, only, only do that if you're a pro in the technical structure which i assume so you are one and let me just uh get, add zero there and you can add apply the same thing here let me just copy that up there copy that and place it somewhere here let me just paste it right here. click and paste it here so if i click modify it will still remain the same so the, the, nothing nothing special so you can just key it the, the, the way you want but that will i want it just to, to be shifted away from some point at that at that distance of uh, for 43000 millimeter that's why i, I, I keep that prefix of negative sign 43,000. So let me just uh, first of all select this work area, right click and come to fit to work area like that. Now let me just take you to uh, uh, first of all a, P a, P a PDF document that I have here. Well, I have this one already defined. So I'm just uh, transferring this detail into Tecla structures. So let me just uh, uh, fit it. Uh, let me just fit, uh, fit the page. And I want to uh, show you some basic details that we have here. So our our structures simply have various heights. So we have from zero here, we have to six. Uh, this has been has been divided to several sections of six six meters. 
so the, the section lengths or heights varies uh, as as height progresses so we have that section here a uh, six meter we have that section here uh, towering up to six meter and that uh, six meter up to 30 meters here so when we begin creating these sections will begin first of all with six 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 meter sections up to 30 meters so let me come to that section uh, that part if i click on that and it will go all the way to far end here where you can see it's now narrow from from eight eight six thousand millimeter or eight point six meters width uh, to now a two a two by two meters with a two meters by two meters width so that two meters begins somewhere here you can see it narrow it narrows down to two meters then stretches up by six meter to make it a 72 meter high let me just uh, turn it around like that and you can see uh, that extension is six meters and that will uh, make it a total height of 72 meters so that will be absolute total height of 17 meters of uh, the the tower telecommunication telecommunication tower intend to create so you can see the width is uh, is six 86 by 86 thousand millimeters in uh, in length in in width and and length so it's a square so let me just uh, minimize that and we want now to begin here so we had defined this and now the, the part remaining is to define the 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 two meters on top so we want to create the two meters here then transfer all those dimensions upward to uh, to the utmost height of 72 meters so with, with, the, with the help of points we are going to define that so first of all let me just define, minimize that pane there this is called uh, pane uh, now I'll come to points here and once I'm in points I'm going to click on that drop down arrow there and come to at any uh, at any position there so I'm going to just select the midpoint there to place my midpoint to, to place my point so since I had showed you that uh, it narrows down from 8.6 meters. It narrows at, uh, as the height uh, progresses. So the the, uh, the the final height will be two by two meters uh, a square. So we want to uh, once we place that point there, I'm going to right click and come to uh, special copy and pick on linear. So I want to copy it this side by one meter and that side by one meter to make it a total of two meters. Now, prior to doing that, I'm going to check the directions of X, Y, Z plane. So in this particular case, I'm going to copy this on the X uh, on the X side. So I'm going to come to X here and just key into uh, 1000 millimeter and click OK. So once I've clicked OK there, you can see I have this point in place. So I can always uh, select this and hold it from here and place it there. I will just select this point, right click and come to special copy and come to linear. So once I'm in linear there, I'm going to change this. 2 to 2 and since x is is pointing this direction i'm going to add or uh, add a negative sign there so that it, it can be taken on the other side to make it two meters so this is just the midpoint of everything so i can i want to copy the, these two points on the other side by two by one meter and this side by one meter so let me just uh, press control and select the other side or just select everything let me just select everything and isolate the middle one then I right click and come to special copy once I'm there I'm going to pick on linear so I'm in linear here I'm going to clear and to that to click if you click clear clear will set everything to absolute zero uh, uh, coordinates now uh, I'll, p I'll go to y-axis then key in here one meter so once I'm in one meter there I'll click OK so you can see this side is one meter it has been copied the other side at, at, at one meter then I'm going to prefix this dimension once again with a negative sign because we're still on the uh, uh, on the y-axis but this time around we're moving on the opposite direction so I'm going to key in a negative sign right there and click copy so that will will, will enable this side be copied in, in that way so what I'm going to do I'm going to delete the middle points here so that I just remain with the middle one uh, the, the central points one so I'm going to select all these points like I, like I've done and I'm going to give it uh, a copy of I'm going to copy it at up to, to a distance of 66 meters because it will con it will create a conical shape at a distance of 66 meters high then from there it will, will have an extension of six meters high to to complete the absolute uh, the, the complete to define the complete height of this so of the 72 so let me just right click after selecting everything here and I'll come to special copy 
Then once I've come to spatial copy, I'm going to clear everything so that it will reset everything to absolute zero coordinates. Now I'll come to Z axis now because it's the direction where I intend to copy everything. And I'm going to key in here 66,000 millimeter right there. So I'm going to click copy. So once I've clicked copy, I'll be able to zoom out. I'll be able to zoom out and I'll be able to find everything here. This is 66. And this can be confirmed by coming to edit and, and uh, edit and come to measure then click distance and snap on that spot then zoom all the way to the bot to, to the central point here this is just to confirm the absolute height and this is 66 meters now on top of these 66 meters i'm going to add six meters to make it 72. now i'm going to, i'm going again to select everything here and right click and come to spatial copy and come to linear so once i'm in linear i'm going to add another six meters here so once I've added six meters, I'll copy everything upward and I'll click OK, right click and come to interrupt just to come out of that command. So this will be complete height of our tower. So I've just marked the point or to, dis to, to, to set out the, the grid line or to set out the, the, the points that will help us in creating the legs of our uh, transmission tower so before i we end on that spot let me just to confirm that the full measurements of the full height of our tower so i'll come to measure then pick on the distance and then snap on that spot and straight straight all the way to the bottom center here and click on that spot and you can see that is 72 meters and that is overall height of our tower so always don't forget this don't forget to save, save your work as you as you as you progress with the, with the detailing of your project. So in our case, I'm going to click save by left clicking right there. So this will save up our, our project. So let's meet then on the next topic and we'll be progressing in step by step. So let's meet, let's meet then.